use the Galio ultimate to follow up, and that can be some very, very powerful initiation. Well, the final pick for Team Dignitas. They were jumping back and forth there between Talia and Victor, ultimately deciding on the Victor. Now Shrimp cool. is here. He has his flash. Big has still waited around. Smoothie's coming up. This could be a 3v3. Nine trying to make something happen, but instead their own jungler is going to be in some trouble. He's taken out. And First Blood goes over to Keen, who gets double buffs for himself. As Smoothie now going to be chased after. Shrimp goes over the wall, trying to slow him down. Tim is triple. Big right behind, looking to find that binding if he can. Sonic Wave waiting for the resonating strike, and he's got it. Two for zero, Dick. I mean, they saw Big was still there on award, so I'm not sure what C9 really thought they could get done when Jensen didn't have his summoners and kind of been pushed out. Smoothie, you know, comes up, but he's only level two. This is not very intimidating. Oh, now no, Jensen. Two. No summoner spells means he's easy pickings for Shrimp and Team. So they have spotted someday, though, on this Rome, and they may try to collapse on him over by mid lane. All tech big. It is 2v2 with Sneaky and Smoothie. Able to find the root, able to find the damage. The headshot's coming in. All tech still looking to find a little bit oh. more damage. Can't quite do it just yet. Piercing arrow. Almost able to take down big in the ignite. Smoothie, that number one support in North America, showing how you earn the title. Nearly going to be taken so down. Oh, low. Himself. Victor's coming down here now, too. We'll see if Keen can clean up these kills. Oh, both of them so very low. Sneaky managed to get away, but Alltech will make sure Smoothie does not. Keen at full health. I don't think this is somebody you can even try to dive. Definitely risky to attempt when he has the ultimate available. Sneaky trying to force the fight here onto Alltech, but Shrimp is there waiting to make sure his oh. ally's not going to be dropping anytime soon. Sneaky goes down. Keen going to be burst at Jensen. Looking to show off those 1v1 talents. We'll see if Dignity Class wants to try to force a play now, knowing that C9 is with out there. Like they somewhat do. Shrimp oh, going to be caught out, though. Burst it down. Jensen grabbing the kill credit for that one, as now Contract's going to be juggled back. Dignitas, third and final Ocean Drake. Shockwave popped onto Big, does not pull him backwards, but now it's going to be exploding into a team fight. Chaos Storm almost taking Smoothie out of the picture. Contract brought low, more damage coming through. First kill goes through onto Sneaky. As now Impact is in the back line alone and stranded. Not going to be getting away from this one anytime soon. Jensen looking to take down that enemy jungler if he can. After Jensen popping the ghost, takes down Shrimp, but not quite. The shield keeps him alive, oh. but only for a moment. Jensen, make sure he's... Health now, and, and Shrimp's health is flying back up. C9 did have mid lane priority, though, so they're shoving that in. The wave is going to be crashing into the tier two. They know that Dignitas is now back on this Baron, though, and they are coming over. Contracts is very low and has no ultimate, so it could be tough for him to get in. Olaf without an ultimate is really not the same champion as when he has it. They're able to catch Impact out a little bit there, put some decent damage into him. Baron still below 2,000 HP. Dig wants to get this. They take it so close to dead, and they do secure it for themselves. A nice shockwave on the two, but it's not enough that to Powered make... cannon minion. <laughs> Doing his work slowly but surely. <laughs> Plink. Plink. It's a little engine Plink. that could. He did it. Blue turret destroyed. Altec, the one who ultimately takes the credit. KSing that poor little cannon minion who tried so hard. Now the ultimate comes in from Impact, who lands right on top of a trap. Doesn't really do anything, though. Still had the can't be disabled from the channeling of the hero's entrance. And now Dignitas taking down inhibitor number one, pushing into Cloud9 territory. They're going to get plenty of extra map pressure from that. Baron's still up for another minute. They could look for more. Cloud9's yeah, got to find some way to make this fight work. Trap Altec gets placed down. Shredding the turrets. Altec does so much damage with this build. Contract on the front line going to be bursted very, very low, very, very quickly. Impact and Contract, supposedly the wall for Cloud9, but they are just being beaten to a pulp as Dignitas will brute force down this turret, take down the inhibitor afterwards. That Baron got them so much as it. Yeah, it got them a ridiculous amount, and now the Mountain Dragon is up. They can easily retreat back to that. Tanking it up so you can get some shots in here from Altec. Knows he's going to regen back, and every time you trade damage, it goes in your favor. And Oh, Shrimp deep. Shrimp trying to get the kick. He finds it onto Jensen, but he only knocks him to the side, not back to the rest of Dignitas. It's enough to make C9 retreat and give up this tier two. And to get Jensen flash. So you can try to repeat that a little bit later because Shrimp did knock him to this flash. He used the QE, he used the ward hop, but they're already on the inhibitor turret. This could be a third inhibitor going down, which will likely seal the fate of Cloud9. They need to try for an engage here. They've got to try to fight. The ghost is used by contracts, but he doesn't have the opportunity to get himself in there. Flash away from Alltech, keeping himself out of that shockwave. Sneaky now going to be juggled back by the power of the cast. He does get himself back to safety. Impact trying to tank here in the middle, but the damage is just so extreme. The penetration items from the Dignitas carries 
means that these Cloud9 tanks are not safe any longer. Someday, keeping them zoned away while the final inhibitor falls. Now, Dignitas has so many minions in the enemy base. They have the regeneration from the Ocean Drake. It's all over, but the very end, the Nexus turrets themselves being taken down now. Number one's out of there, number two at barely any HP. Three shots from Alltech will take that one out. The Nexus itself now the target. Cloud9 has got to pull the trigger, but Contracts is gonna be forced out immediately. Impact trying to tank. You cannot tank one versus five. Someday grab the kill credit as Dignitas will put this one in the book and take down Cloud9 in game number one. Just after a moment, first they gotta teach Sneaky a lesson about trying to take them off the road. They burn him down, they put the rest of Cloud9 in the dirt, and they will find a double kill for their top laner, bringing down Jensen as well. The Nexus goes, and Dig will find one for zero. Very well done by Dean Toss, methodical. Tom Kench, who, when you get death sentence, Tom Kench gobbles you up, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you're not in any trouble. Yeah, and it makes a lot of sense against Elise as well, right? So it is going to be a pretty good answer there. If you back there. off too far, then you're going to be giving up CS. So it is definitely a back and forth, and uh, you can't commit too heavily to that. Nice, oh, Repose the blocking the stun. Now Impact on the back foot, have to run away. Shrimp trying to get in there, Repel up. Here he comes, Spider Bite for the first blood. Such a good parry there from Someday. And impact, Contracts. Someday still has his. You gotta be aware of what Contracts is doing here. Repose comes out a little bit early. Grand Challenge issued. Someday on the run. No flash available, but Impact's got his, and Someday is gonna be taken down. Well done there from Contracts. Gets up. Despite the parry, he has the slow. It would be very high, but that being said, uh, they could turn it around. This Renekton Gragas 2v2 is very strong too, but now in fact solo already. Oh, the damage onto Shrimp though. Put him on the Barbie because these guys have made the 2v2 outplay. The Repost comes out, but it's gonna be blocked up and oh. Impact will live through it. That was so huge. This time, without really uh, any of the help, he get knocked in. Ooh, good flash away, trying to keep himself safe. Goes down the Chaos oh. Storm, but the Shockwave will take him out. Caster Curse just as I want to go compliment him just for, as for actually to out having that for a longer than normal period as we've got another 1v1 between top laners. Level 11 Impact versus level 10 Someday. Impact doing a good job hugging that wall, preventing the heal from coming out. The flash into the stun, and he is done. Impact with a killing spree. Keen trying to mop this one up if he can. Take over, and he's doing such a great job. The Shrimp is here, still trying to chase him down. The flash over the wall, and that's enough damage. There's no way Impact's getting out of that one. Tried his hardest, but in favor. And the fact that he's playing very intelligently and hugging that wall means he can't rock the ult. And now Keen has no ult to try to fight Jensen with. He's just going to be solo killed. One last auto attack, and Jensen's got him. Jensen just autos him down there. Nailed still there, by the way, Tops. <laughs> <laughs> Alltech is not in a very good spot right now. He's got summoner spells, but why would you even waste him? The man is dead to rights. Impact, four, two, and one. Uh, now they're ulting topside. Seeky getting soloed down here by Fiora, but here comes Tom Kent. Oh, deadly flourish hitting on the very edge of it. Smoothie there for the backup. Impact coming around from the side as well. Looking nice parry. Down. Burton call is out. Three shots of hit. Jensen coming around from behind. A killing spree onto the Fiora. Shockwave onto two. Shrimp going to be taken low. Chaos Storm to try to disengage. But Cloud9 has around. found fires off the Reign of Arrows just to keep him slowed down. Impact wants to go for all tech if he can, but he's going to be stunned up before he can do it. Shrimp grabs a kill. Yeah, C9 pushing mid lane at the same time, though. The best Baron taking him from C9, but they are engaging onto all tech. Uh, all tech caught out again. And that fourth shot just detonates. Contracts really has been so good. He's being impact over. They know somebody doesn't have his teleport and he is bot side. Meanwhile, Shrimp almost going to be killed instantly by Jensen. He's forced to repel up, lands with only 5% of his HP. The Chaos Storm moving towards the fight. Jensen going to be tied up, but Baron is already secured. And Cloud9 finds exactly what they were looking for. No, gets himself over the wall with the flash out. Smoothie now may potentially be the target. Curtain Call going to be opened up. And Sneaky's in a safe spot to contribute damage to this fight. Shrimp is already dead. Alltech now going to be the target. He is down too. Smoothie barely staying alive. And a nice fight. They just need to wave clear. Death Sentence doesn't find its way onto anyone. Cloud9 still trying to put this one down. Cocoon comes out. Big going to be going down. More damage coming through. Forced to run back if he can. Someday caught off to the side. Impact almost taking him down to zero. Jensen seals the deal. Unstoppable as Big dies as well. Dignitas have lost two, but so have their opponents. Contracts and Smoothie fall, but the damage dealers on C9 are still up and running, and they take down the inhib. Yeah, they get the inhib, and they are second inhib, so they need to wave here. They need to play this out. 
Flash into body slam into the cast backwards and with Keen out of the picture, Cloud9 will be making their move. Impact's TP completes first. Someday is forced to cancel his, I believe. Nope, does complete it. He's into the fight, but he won't be there for long as he's going to be forced away. Deadly Flourish comes out, gets himself sidestepped. Curtain Call opens up. Big going to be soaking those shots as more damage and CC comes through. Adios! Jensen dominating as Cloud9 now five man pushes towards the Nexus. Turrets are gone. Cloud9 is taking us to game number three. We'll have to see if they manage to rack up a couple more kills on the way there. They take Sunday out. Shockwave comes through. Just throwing it out there for the hell of it as they go for the Nexus. Send us to game number three and make a statement against Team Dickinson. Really well played game two here from C9. They tie it back up and... I mean, it's looking even faster. You can fly in there so incredibly fast, chase people down, find those picks, and it's going to be Renekton in the top lane against the Galio, so certainly should be a lane that the Earth Dragon's going over to C9, and and I think that Dignas will try to fight for this. Behind enemy lines, Cloud9 looking to start things off. Big in some trouble, having to try to flash away from these bullets, but they're still able to find the first blood for Cloud9. Contracts cashing in on that one. Someday going to be tanking these guys for oh, now. Pops here too. getting himself first and down. Jensen grabbing the kill. Cloud9 find themselves too. Looks like they're about to make it three. All tech will not stand against this long double kill for the Syndra. Tanking the turret aggro. Solo barely gold as well. The shrimp may finally pull the trigger here and look to set up a play, but impact is faster. Cloud9 coming around. There's that synergy between Rengar and Lulu you were talking about as they'll big getting himself first and down. Some big damage as Keen's on the run. And Dignitas has no way to respond yet again. Uh, Shrimp is showing donuts on the scoreboard. Just hasn't been able to find any way to get in. They're going to go for the engage again. Galio is here. Curtain call opened up. Big has to be escorted out, but sneaky. Weaving those bullets in between Jensen opponents. Wants right more. past the body block. Dignitas stays this far behind in the game. They're going to feel really bad about giving up. Someday, potentially catching contracts out, but the heroic entrance going to be coming in. Big it's around the side, still looking to finish off contracts. Gets them. Utilizing the power of the ulti now. Can they find impact as well? Sunday so ferocious on this Renekton. The winds of war will blow, but they will not find their mark. A double kill for Big. And Dignitas <laughs> looks to take Quite the risk. Big must have heard you talking about him having a rough game. Had to pad the stats a little bit. There you go. I'm not Still the one secured. with any kills. That's my top lane. <laughs> Shrimp will pick up the Rift Herald for himself. Putting it on the jungler means it's easy to roll. Cloud9 setting up a trap here, maybe. Blue Shrink in place down. Contract's going to be caught out a little bit. Heroic entrance knocking up a oh, couple. All tech ten. already dead. Sneaky grabbing the kill. Contract back into the middle of this fight. And Big is down now, too. Someday, Keen and Shrimp in full retreat. One last shot. The fat man's out of there. Keen has to try to jump himself out. The Valkyrie to stay safe for now. Deadly Flourish finding the mark. Oh, I'm going to be there too. CC into CC into CC into see you later. Jensen, unstoppable. And with that extra he needs kill with the Miracle, I think he's going in. This is a highlight real play or it's a disaster. One or the other. Someday right there into the mix. Going to be Polymorph. Still trying to find the damage, but he won't get anyone. Gives him an extra 300 gold. Does finally get kill credit onto Impact. He dies to the Baron damage afterwards. He goes one for one. And deadly flourish onto your jungler. Contracts showing up so big right there. Trying to chase all tech down if he can. Going a bit too far. Jensen coming in to make sure it's a one for one at least. Big in some trouble. Taken down by the auto attack. Who needs spells when you can hit him with that extra little bit of the basic? As Keen gets himself stunned up. Not quite the follow up showing up just yet. Shrimp looking to go for Sneaky, but that Jin is oh, unstoppable. Oh, oh. Flash into the shot. Double oh, kill. Four six, shot there. Zero and Something five. trying to hold on to this turret, but I don't know if they're going to let him. He's not doing anything. He's just polymorphed until he's going to be taken down. Wild Force coming in. Jin, keeping him alive, and Sneaky is godlike on this Jin. At the end of game number one, Azale, you talked about can Alltech be a consistent performer after having that great first game showing? Right now, Sneaky is the one who's showing himself to be such a good AD this carry. Dignitas needs to engage right now to have any chance, but Galio is zoning them. Somebody looking to come around for the flank, but the turret is already dead, and they need a miracle, as you said. They get a big bear assault there. Somebody can't even go in. Impact's locked up, but what does it matter? That is a tanky Galio. Cloud9 just playing this one back for the time being. Someday popped his ulti, but he can't get into the fight at all. And Hicker's still under threat. A little bit more damage will take it down. They find the objective they're looking for. Now backing themselves away again. Someday with no ultimate is not nearly as much of a threat. Yeah, Someday popped that ultimate. Couldn't even oh, win. And no, Big is just Big. erased. This Morgana. Closing in on this final inhibitor. 
Rengar Roar sounds. Big's gonna be brought down. Impact coming forward. Looking to channel that taunt. Sneaky knocks Sunday back. in the back. Sunday for the flank. Looking to go for Jensen if he can, but he's already legendary. Taking down Shrimp, the heroic entrance. As now they're going to be able to burst down Sunday. Legendary for Sneaky. More damage coming through. All tech locked up. Rooted down. Taken out. Keen on the run. Impact still trying to find the taunt. Can't quite he get wants it. it. But one versus three is not a situation that saves a game. Cloud nine on to the Nexus turret. Sneaky still alive. Nine, zero, and six. There is no way for Keen to possibly hold this. Jensen and Sneaky and Impact far too much of a threat. The Nexus itself now exposed. Super minions wailing on it, and Cloud9 will take down Dignitas and continue to contend for a top spot in the North American LCS. Both teams gonna be tied at five and three after we